So, and welcome back to more Dark Souls 3. This part, we're gonna go on a bit of an adventure through the swamp. Now the swamp, everyone hates it, obviously. Everyone hates the fucking swamp area. There's actually three swamp areas in the game, but this is by far the largest. The other two are actually fairly small, so don't worry about that. So the swamp is basically a giant, uh, like, circle. It's got this giant area here, and it's very round. It's got three towers in it. And one big tower, which is over there. It's, almost, it's actually not quite a tower, but whatever. And just this NPC hit, extinguish three flames and open the door to wolf's blood. So we're gonna do that, just like our main goal. And we have one flame in each of the towers, each of the three towers. So basically, the goal here is go to three towers, extinguish the three flames, which is just interacting with some shit, and then you can continue on. We're also gonna go to the bigger tower, the fourth tower. Because there's some cool stuff in there. So this stuff right here, if you walk in it, gives you fucking poison. And poison is actually not that bad in this game. They change poison to be a lot slower. Uh, so once I get poison, which is definitely gonna happen, um, because I'm not even gonna worry about not even worrying about getting poison. You see, it deals damage a lot slower. My HP goes down a lot slower than it did in other games, and also, but, it, but it, therefore the poison lasts way longer. So I think this is a really good thing that poison doesn't like require immediate action. You can like take your time with poison and either not clear it and just heal through it, or be like, ah, I'm just gonna fight these guys and then I'm gonna clear it. So you don't, you're not panicking that much with poison, and for the most part, you don't really give a shit. Wow, my aim is terrible. I knew that was gonna hit me, I didn't even have to roll. Well, these guys have poison tipped spears, but we have poison anyway, so we don't do a shit. So, this is one of the. This is the message again. Also, another NPC message. I'm playing online, but I don't even see that many player messages. So, you just interact with this, and. It extinguishes a flame. I'm gonna show this cutscene once, because the other two times you also get a cutscene, but it's pretty much exactly the same. So I don't have to. Sh so I don't want to have to show it like three times in a row. So we extinguish the flame up there. What happens is there's this door on the other side of the swamp, and one of the braziers lit up, light up. I mean, I need to light up all three braziers, which means just extinguishing all the other three flames, and then we'll be able to continue to that thing over there, that building. That's our next goal. We're not gonna do that though before doing the cathedral because we're gonna need to do the cathedral first anyway. The cathedral is the other new area that I like found in the last part. Also, we, we, need, we need way more titanite shards in order to um, upgrade some shit. Rotten pine resin, woo! Well, there's another NPC invasion that happens in here, and I think I might get a watchdog as well to come once I trigger that thing. Nimble one ahead. Are we? Oh, it's this guy. So these guys over there, the, the weaponless uh, variety of the weapon of the enemies I just slaughtered, are actually by far the most powerful one because they jump around like fucking Spider-Man, they face kick you and they can grab you and the grab deals a shit ton of damage. You want to kill these guys as fast as possible. If they grab you, then you're in deep shit. If they kick you, you're staggered like fuck. So yeah, these guys are actually really fucking powerful. So next up I wanna get some more items in here. By the way, you hear that? There's more enemies around. These are not the weapon one, the weapon is one though, so I'm not too worried. Oops. Got him. Wait, this is deep swamp, so what I can do is um, do this. I don't have to worry about uh, all that shit. Let me, okay, let me get guts required. Oh no, vision to peek to a pulp. Great sword. Oh, these guys are attacking one. So, can I write something about guts? Wait a second, did I aggro a guy? Uh -huh. No, it's just having some shit down there. 
I want to see if I can get... By the way, um, when you actually put down messages, many people don't know this, but look at the bottom. It says change note format. Oh, what's this? You can put down a second line as well as a gesture t together with it. Damn. So let me just make sure I put, line this up. Gets point forward. I want to see something about guts. Um, it shouldn't be in creatures, but you never know because it has a lot of shit in it. So the, I don't know. I, I think in uh, they might have changed some stuff out because in a lot of in one of the earlier Dark Souls, I think it was Dark Souls Two, you could get guts as um, a thing to say. But I'm not quite sure this is in here. Because I want it. There we go. Guts ahead. And then. Let me see. Beating to a pulp or something like that. Hitting them in one swoop. Oh my god. Should I do that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what else we can do. I'm just, I'm just showing this off once. I'm not going to write too many more messages, if any, but I want to just do that. Oh, which is a good one. So by the way, in, ca in case you're wondering why I'm doing this, this is the Great Sword, which is modeled after the uh, after Guts' sword from Berserk, which is a manga and anime. And because the thing is, if you didn't know, if you didn't notice already, if well, if you know Berserk, you already know, or maybe you've read somewhere. But Dark Souls one through three is heavily inspired by Berserk. So the Gut Sword is a thing that is in pretty much any Dark Souls game, just as a little additional nod to it. But there's a lot of other references. Like there's going to be like a mini boss later on, which is like a monster from Berserk. So, and yeah, the main character from Berserk is called Guts, and he wields what is this great sword, which is, which is also one of the best weapons in the game, at least it was in Dark Souls 2. And if I didn't have the Great Axe, I would definitely switch to this weapon right now. If I didn't have the Exile Great Sword, because the Exile Great Sword is, in my opinion, even better than the Great Sword, so. Sorry, Guts, not today. So, by the way, like I said, in here you can't really move correctly, but. Quick step with the thing here. It's really good. Wait, it's an enemy. But I want to. I need to go over here. These enemies are fucking bastards, and I hate them. And everyone hates them, I think. Let's do this very quickly. So you've already seen this cutscene. It's gonna play pretty much the exact cutscene again. It's like just the second fire. We don't have to show it again. The guys, stop following me. I hope. So we don't have to worry about that. So now we're gonna kill this thing. Oh, what? He got up. No! Oh my god, he missed! No! Don't you dare. Don't grab me. He tried to grab me there. So up ahead is an NPC invasion. There we go. And I wonder if I get another player invasion along with it. Even if I do, I really need to kill this guy down there really fast. This guy is using a sorcery that makes him invisible unless I'm close to him. There we go. However, he has like no poise. His weapon is really powerful though. He needs to get away from that swamp because if I if I get invaded by a player, I want to make sure that I'm not poisoned. You want to heal, right? Oh, you know you want to heal, right? Too bad. Well, I didn't get a player invaded, but it's okay. We've already done a player invasion earlier. So, up in this area, I don't want to go there just yet because at some point later we're gonna go there anyway. You see this item on this items on this cliff? At some later point, we're gonna go to that cliff and get those items. And when we do that, we can drop down and get the rest of the items that I just skipped past. Not skip past, just didn't get. And I think that's a lot better to do. Whoops, do this. Go cuck crap, cuck crap, cuck crap, cuck crap, cuck crap. It makes you go faster if you keep chanting that. 
By the way, these enemies are really fucking fast, even though they're so big. Oops. Yeah, you see, you almost caught up to me while I'm cocking crabbing, crabbing, or just crabbing my way over here. I mean, I am a crab doing this, right? These guys are also really fucking powerful, and I don't want to fight them. At least in a 2v1. In a 1-on-1, one -on -one, they're not actually too bad, but in a 2v1, nope. <laughs> I really don't want to fight them in a 2v1. There's a bonfire up ahead, and I'm gonna get it. So, one of them might actually have gotten back. Not sure though. Yeah, one of them's back. I think these guys are still really powerful even in one on one, so this is gonna be close. Maybe. Why is he doing it to his side all the time? Thing is though, even though they're so big, they don't actually have that much HP. They don't actually have that much HP. I don't know, that's a bit weird, but yeah. So there's a lot of gastropods in there. Actually, it's not quite gastropods, it's just snails. But it's worth it because it's undead bone shard, which uh, makes it so our SS flask is more powerful, which is good. Wow. There we go. I don't have to. I don't have to kill these guys, but I want to. Also, I noticed. I just noticed I'm at 36,000 souls. Maybe I should go back. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly get this bonfire, and then we're gonna go out and fight the Dark Rave, and we're gonna have a load of fun doing that. Actually, not a load of fun, but I'm gonna hate myself because I might lose these souls. Actually, this is a perfect time. Like, I mean, let me rest, uh, let me rest first. This is the perfect time for me to put on the Ring of Soul Sacrifice. Or just being of sacrifice, as it's called. Uh, because maybe I'm actually gonna have to use it. Maybe I'm actually gonna have to use it. So there should be a dark rave over there. It's the one f skeleton do uh, armor guy do the fought two parts earlier to get the red eye orb. Let me see. There should be some sort of small tower like this one right here. And it should have the dark rave. Is he even on this side? Oh, he's on the other side. I see something over there. Uh, I thought I had my bearings, apparently not quite. But I'm still sure he's over there somewhere. I just need to find a little bit of like that hut like there. Not quite a hut, it's actually completely opposite of a hut, but whatever. I think it's that over there, isn't it? Okay, you can go down one of these places. Let me... Hello? I know you can jump down here. Whatever, do it up ahead. There's these three things. That's the oh, I guess in the meantime we can get the uh, other uh, flame that I'm missing that I haven't extinguished yet. Yeah, I'm in a cutscene. However, now we're gonna have to fight that guy. There's a little trick I could do here, which is quitting out of the game. If you quit out of the game and come back in, you're standing at the exact same point, but all the enemies are reset. Like, they, this guy wouldn't be following me anymore, he would be standing back to where he initially was. Now where's this dark rave? I thought he was close to here. Where is that guy? No, don't you grab me, dude. Actually survives that. Oh no, he jumped! You see how much damage that jump does? It's unreal. Oh fuck, he got me. I'm dead. These guys are ridiculous. Because of the, mostly because of the jump. They're completely unattackable during the jump and they spam it so much. And then they also have a really fast grab that is hard to see sometimes. Don't jump. There we go. Where the fuck is that dark grave at? I thought I was right to where I once went from the bonfire. Maybe I wasn't. No, I was right. Cause this is the other shit. This is the other shit. Uh, let me let me go back go back up there because I think I was actually correct. I just didn't go far enough. I think I just didn't go far enough. I'm an idiot. I don't remember this guy being anywhere else. <laughs> How did he hit me? Well, he's off. 
The other guy was up here on the bridge also fell off. There was a castle on this bridge, but he's gone, so I guess he's down there. It's not that part over there, is it? Actually, I think it might be. Oh, no, never mind, it's not. I was thinking of something else. You know what, fuck this, I'm resting here. Just for the Astros flasks, and then we're gonna go back to the guy. Actually, pff, almost 100% sure he was over there, it just didn't go far enough. <sighs> Whatever, we had, to get the, we had to get that other flame anyway, so it's not like I went the wrong way. I just didn't go there fast enough. Oh my god, this guy over there is looking at me. I don't like that. Actually, I want to get those items very quickly. By the way, we want to go up there this ladder later, but not quite right now. I have to dual wield this uh, two items left, by the way, or otherwise I can't do it. Or I, or I took a shield that had weapon art on its side, but no. That's just some soup here. Son of Tatum. This thing is, this thing is gonna say praise to soup. They always do that. Ah, you can't you can't hate him for that. So I'm just crabbing my way over here. Poison as always, but at least I'm fast about it. By the way, this quick step it takes FP to use, but you can still use it when you're on zero FP, which is interesting. There's actually multiple sp skills that are like that. But I think the reasoning behind that is they want to just make sure that you don't use. At, at, at least, like, there's some skills that they're like, okay, just keep using this, we don't mind. But at the same time, they're like, well, we don't want you to use this skill together with a skill that does use uh, FP. So we're gonna make it so it costs FP. Okay, now where the fuck is that Dark Rave? Oh, no, it's two handed. Once again, this is not the wrong way. I need to go here anyway for some other stuff. Can I run? Okay. Where the fuck? Uh, I, the thing is, at some point, I was like, okay, I got this swamp figured out. Well, apparently, I don't. You know what? That means I know where the where the dark grave is, and I'm gonna go to there. Straight ahead now. Gonna go there right away. Because there's only one place left where it could be. For that, we're gonna go down here and then we're just gonna like cuck our way around the left side. Okay, I should stop saying that word, that's stupid. But yeah, we're gonna crab our way through the left side now. Actually, you might not have to crab because, um, by the way, I mean, crab is a quick snap. We might not have to crab because, um, I don't know if this stuff here is actually... Yeah, this, you can just run through most of this stuff without having to worry about just getting stuck somewhere. Okay, what did I... got pine resin. And there he is, there's a duck, have you seen me already? No, you don't. Can I? Thank you. <laughs> As if I didn't hear that. Let me get this. Sage is cool. Oh, Blacksmith. And now we can fight this guy. No! I <laughs> That's why you usually make sure you still have stamina to roll, but I actually really thought he would die there. I really thought he would die there. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck off. Boop. Yeah, I don't like dark graves. I was actually so close to seeing him, uh, seeing him earlier. Now, there's still some other stuff they want to do in the swamp, as well as get up the tower. But I don't have time for that right now. So, I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna level some shit up off screen. And, I'm, uh, actually, I might as well show you. And if you don't want to see it, just cut the like, start watching the party and go to the next party. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably gonna get more A strength. Very well, then. Right? No, I need some other stuff. I need this vitality. No, actually, I need this. No, I don't. Wait, what do I need? I need like this, this. 
I don't need strength. But I, no, I don't need strength. I need this. I want to actually be able to, like, carry all that shit. Farewell, Ajni. We're gonna get a ring later on, that means, so we... Later on, next part, that makes us able to carry more stuff. But I still wanted to make sure it had at least that. Uh, that much of it. Oh, I can also get my weapon up. That's really good. Did what? So, we're gonna get this guy coal as well. Now we can just infuse our weapons with more different stuff. That's not too important, actually. So, instead of reinforcing our great axe further, we're gonna do the exile great stuff because this weapon is extremely fucking awesome. Pretty. <laughs> like, so awesome. Also, gonna get this sages, uh, not the paladin. Ash, so, yeah. Can we buy. No, we can't buy the things there. I wanted to buy, what is it? The upgrade stuff. The upgrade stuffs! I forgot. The things to upgrade my shit. The Titanite Trust, but I can't. So, yeah, that's it for this part. Ashen one. See you guys next time.